What's up, everyone? So we're back with another day with the Supra. Last time we were out here working, we got the differential swapped. We got the rear end cleaned up a little bit. We got the axles put back on. So today we're gonna move forward a little bit and we're gonna hit the drive axle. I don't know which one of these two is gonna work. He had both of them and didn't remember which one was which. So we're gonna see which splines fit up. And I also have a new center support bearing for it. And since we're doing the drive train, we're gonna get this put on. This is the shifter bushing for the W58, which means I'll have to pull the cross member mount down, lower the transmission a little bit, and then we'll kind of go from inside. If you can see through that hole, we'll slip the shifter in, place the ball, ball where it needs to be so it sits in the actual shifting linkage, and then we'll bolt everything down from there. There's a gasket that needs to go around there as well. And then after we're done there, we're gonna put the starter in and hook up with some of the other electronics and then move our way back up front to get some of this turbo piping put back in. Instead of trying to go all fancy schmancy with it, essentially you're gonna run it how the stock super goes. Everything will be on like this half. Cause this intercooler, both of these face the same direction. So if you could imagine taking it up and putting it right down in here, both those couplers facing this way. I can run the one on the bottom of the intercooler, just, you know, raise it up a bit, have the pipe run underneath, under through, under here, and then up around through the fender, through here. We're gonna cut this out a little bit. We're gonna move this, and then this one will come up and go directly into the throttle body. Below, out of the turbo, going into the intercooler will basically just come down through here and smack into the inner cooler under there. Cause ultimately that's what's gonna take the most amount of room. So that's what I wanna figure out first and then kind of work everything else around it. As long as I don't use this space right in here where the radiator is gonna seat, then I should be all right. I gotta run brake lines too. So we'll be running all the brake lines from front to back. I believe there's still lines that go from down here all the way to the back. I believe those are still intact, so I'm gonna to try to utilize those as much as possible because I'd like to not run them under there. If we have to, so be it. But all the brake hoses are still good. I took them off and checked them the other night. There's no significant cracks in any of the rubber or anything like that. They all look pretty new, actually. So I'm gonna keep those and then just run the rest of the line when it needs to be there. And then I'm essentially just gonna copy the fuel setup off of my car because those lines from the tank to the, from the tank to here and then the return line are also still all intact on this shell when we got it. So we're gonna leave those two because those were in just fine condition. Um, we just have to run them basically from like where, from where the firewall dips underneath, there's the end line ends there. So we'll just run it from there to the filter and then in through to where it goes to the rail to the injectors. And then obviously the return line is super simple. It's literally a rubber hose. But that's what we were doing after we shut the cameras off yesterday a little bit. We just kind of jacked the front end of the car up. Took a look at some things, got the down pipe, like the little 90 degree off, so we could see the back side of the turbo a little better. But this is our main focus for today, to get the drive line hooked up, because the rear end is now secure and good. Everything's torqued down, everything's in place. But we're gonna get to work. I'm gonna jack the front end of the car up a little bit more so I can get under there, get a jack in there to lower the trans down a little bit, loosen the engine mount bolts, and just make sure that nothing's gonna get pulled down with it when the trans drops. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna put it back up, get a drive axle put in, and then we'll work our way back up to the front. All right, so it's been about five minutes and upon inspection, my friend decided he wanted to lose all the bolts for the shifter to the trans. So, just gonna dig some out, find one that works, run to the parts store, buy a bunch of them, and be done with it. All right, so just got to go grab some hardware, drop the transmission down a little bit, as you can see. Now I got some to work, so I'm gonna throw it in. What I'm assuming to be third gear here, push this lever forward, and slide this in, get it around. Falls right to place. I'm gonna bolt it down, get the shifting lever on, torque that down, and move on. Everything's torqued down right underneath there where you see the inside. 
that little half loop is where I need to sink that ball to get it to shift. Now I pushed it into third gear because this kind of comes off the back of the trans a little bit. So I put it in third to get it around. But now that it's torqued down, I'm going to use the ball to pull it back in neutral and then get these four bolts tightened down. That will hold this into place. So this is the next step to get it on there and then we can raise the transmission back up and put the cross member mounts back on and put the drive shaft on. All right, there we go, boots on. So I'm gonna go back to the bottom, lift the trains up, put the bolts back in, and then get the drive shaft ran. So I got the back end of the car jacked up again so we can get at the drive axle a little easier. The only side that's questionable is this end over here. That I don't know if it's gonna bolt up with the new differential, but it should. Everyone online says it should. I'm sitting, uh, I'm just gonna kind of spray this down with PB Blaster, grease it up a little bit so it slides right in because we just did a little bit of a mock setup and it's not wanting to go on, so figure if we clean it up just a little bit to get some of the surface rust off, it should slide right in. Come back here and show you kind of what we're working with. So I have this, it's soft enough that it shouldn't damage any of this drive shaft so we can maybe get a little bit of the surface rust off. Ah, With my hat. Fuck. Oh. You get that, bud? So, we're going to try to clean out the end of that, see if we can get the spines to grab up a little bit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You be like that sometimes. I do. Sometimes you gotta... Everybody got a dry decade. Yeah. A uh, dry decade? Yeah. I don't know about a decade, my no. Oh. Ugh. Deliciousness. Delicious. You got problems, dude. Here, bud. I'll get in from the back. I want in from the back. You bastard. Ta-da! Hello. Hold it up, we go find some bolts for this thing and we'll be right back. Now, I figure it's probably not a bad idea. Throw some thread lock around these bad boys. I like the gel stuff, preferably, personally, because it doesn't spill all over the goddamn place and I can do that. Mm. All right, put her up there. <laughs> Hopefully this dry box will last. Long enough to at least get sideways once with Chris in the car. All of a sudden, clutch kick and boom. Oh, come on. This might not even be the right bolt. It is. 
All right, we're gonna get this all torqued in and. Oh, oh shit. God, Whatever. Do. Oh my god. <laughs> Send it. <laughs> yeah, fuck. I don't have the wrench or the, the nut for this drive axle, so if he wants it running, he's always gonna get it. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be alright too. Oh. No. Anyway. No. That's gonna fucking rattle like some fucking. Well. <laughs> I mean, that fits, but that fits. I suppose we're gonna learn today. Dude, if this bitch is perfectly fucking balanced, though, it should be alright. No, it's just a two piece. Uh, you also shit. need to make sure that you get the alignment. It'll be fine. Honestly, I just he just wants to hear it run. So, this is the best I can do for you right now, buddy. We're gonna get you a new drive shaft soon. So, to the center support bearing, the axle is in. I just need to get another bolt set. Terrible filming for the differential back there. I have this one, but I want to get the correct bolts to put it all together. So for now, it's just going to stay like this. We're going to drop it back down. And that's our next target.